the following orbitals cannot exist. Our answer choices are 2p, 3d, 5d, 3f, and 160p. So in our orbital designation, we see that there is a number followed by a letter. So when we have, let's start with 2p. When we have a, a number followed by a letter, the number represents a quantum number called n. So whatever this number is, that's our quantum number n, which is related to the energy level of the electron. And the letter is related to the quantum number L. For L, we have numbers as well as letter designations. So our L, when L is equal to 0, our letter is S. When L is equal to 1, the letter is P. When L is equal to 2, the letter is D. And when L is equal to 3, the letter is F. So for example, for 2p, we know that our n number is equal to 2, and our l number, since it's p, p is 1, so l must be equal to 1. So n is equal to 2 and l is equal to 1. Now how do we know that something cannot exist? How are n and l related to one another? Well, n can be 1, 2, 3, and so on, as long as it's an integer, it is okay for, um, it, it, it can exist. Now for L, it, it depends on the N number. So L can go from zero to N minus one only. For example, if my N is equal to three, my L could take the following numbers. It could be zero, it could be one, and it could be two. That's it. It cannot be greater than two. Those are the only three possibilities for L. So if my L will not follow the rule from zero to n minus one, then that orbital will not be able to exist. So let's go ahead and go through all of the answer choices and see which one will not be correct. Let's start with A. We already said that for a, n is equal to 2 and l is equal to 1. So let's ask ourselves, when n is equal to 2, what can l be equal to? Again, l goes from 0 to n minus 1. So if n is equal to 2, then l could be either 0 or 1, and it is 1 here. Therefore, a is fine, and we can eliminate it. Now let's go to choice b. Choice B is 3D, which means our N is equal to 3, and our L must be equal to, we can use my chart here, 2. If N is equal to 3, can L be equal to 2? Well, if N is equal to 3, my L could be 0, 1, or 2. Remember, it goes from 0 to N minus 1, 0 to 3 minus 1, so 0 through 2, 0, 1, or 2. Here, L is 2, so that works. Eliminate. Now let's go to C, we have 5D, N is equal to 5, L is equal to 2. Can my L be equal to 2 if my N is equal to 5? Again, for L, we can go from 0 to N minus 1, so from 0 to 5 minus 1, which is 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4 are my choices, and L equal to 2 works. These are all of the options that are possible, so we can eliminate C as well. And let's go ahead and go to D. 3F, here N is equal to 3, and L is equal to 3 as well. Can L be equal to 3 if N is equal to 3? Remember that N has to go from 0. It, all of the possible choices for L are 0 to N minus 1 and minus 1, 3 minus 1 is 2. So here, the only possibility for L, let me just move a little, the only possibility for L would be 0, 1, or 2, not 3, because, uh, because 3 is greater than n minus 1. So this does not work, doesn't work. Doesn't work. Why does it not work? Let's repeat again. Because n is equal to 3 here and l is equal to 3. If n is equal to 3, 
my L could be 0, 1, or 2 because L can go from 0 to N minus 1, from 0 to 3 minus 1. Here, L is equal to 3, so it's not one of the possibilities. Therefore, this is incorrect. This cannot, this orbital cannot exist because L does not follow the rule. Now, let's just take a look at E, which is 160P. N is equal to 160 here, and L is equal, if it's P, it's equal to 1. Could that happen? Yes, because my L can go from 0 all the way to 159. Any of those numbers will work out, and 1 is one of them. So that works out, and E we can eliminate as well. So our answer choice has to be D3F. 3F cannot exist. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. I really hope that you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you in more of my general chemistry and organic chemistry videos.